Hi there. In this demo video, I am going to show you how to configure and use Xmarketer Suite to engage with your website users. Once you have received credentials for your Xmarketer account, you can visit app.xmarketer.io to set up your workspace. On the login screen, you can enter your email ID and your password, and then click on login button to activate your Xmarketer account. After successful verification, you will be taken to the activation page where you can set up your workspace. Workspace is like your personalized dashboard. It will be hosted on a unique subdomain, and will be accessible through a unique URL. Here you can enter a name for your workspace. It can be the name of your website or your company. Your subdomain will be suggested automatically based on your workspace name. You can either choose the suggested name or enter another name based on your preference. If the subdomain is available, the Activate Now button will be enabled. Click on the Activate Now button to successfully create your workspace. Your workspace is now live at your chosen subdomain and you can access it using your unique URL. When you log in for the first time, you will see an onboarding screen that will guide you through some quick steps to set up your workspace. The first step is to set up the Xmarketer Messenger on your website. With Xmarketer Messenger, you can have live audio calls with your customers, have face-to-face -face conversations, send and receive voicemails and video mails directly from your website. To set up the Messenger, you need to copy the script by clicking on the Copy to Clipboard button. You must paste the script on your website, above, the closing body tag of your HTML page. Copy and paste the script on all the HTML pages, where you want to place the Xmarketer Messenger. You can place it on your checkout page, landing page or any other page where you feel, your user would benefit by talking to you directly. Once you deploy your website with Xmarketer Messenger script, this is how the Messenger is going to look to your potential users. Your users can simply click on the Xmarketer button on the right bottom corner of your website, to open and close the messenger. You can now start having real-time conversations with your potential buyers, or send them recorded messages. In the second step, you can see the URL of your knowledge base. Your unique knowledge base was created as soon as you activated your workspace. You can open this link to see your live knowledge base in action. You can share a link of your knowledge base on your website and with your customers. You can add frequently asked questions on this page to answer commonly asked questions. Your customers can also raise tickets from here which you can resolve from your workspace. With these two simple steps, you are now ready to take full advantage of your Xmarketer workspace. For your convenience, we have listed some features of Xmarketer that might be beneficial for you here. The Messenger script is also available on the settings page, and, FAQs can be added from the knowledge base page links to which are there on the left sidebar. Once you've completed these two steps, you can click on the Don't Show Again button to hide the onboarding modal. Now, in front of you, is your dashboard, which gives you a summary of all the activities happening on your workspace. By default, we add one sample conversation, one sample ticket and one sample contact to your workspace. As you continue to use Xmarketer, your conversations, your tickets, and your contacts will be reflected here. On your right side, you can see the onboard and completion progress bar. It shows your progress with the onboarding steps, and automatically updates, as you complete these steps. Once you've completed all the steps, you will have a complete understanding of how Xmarketer works. On this page, you can also see other useful information, like, a getting started checklist, a demo video of Xmarketer, your latest conversations, and a list of recently logged in agents. Agents are people that you can invite to your workspace, who can help you manage your customer interactions. You also see some quick links to different parts of the website here. Now let me show you, how you can have conversations with your users, through the Xmarketer Messenger. You can see all your live conversations, by clicking on the Conversations tab, in the left sidebar. On the Conversations page, all your live conversations will be visible, as either seen, or on scene. Once you click on an unseen conversation, it will be marked as seen. Any new conversation that you start with your customer is added to the open conversations. Once you have completed the conversations, you can mark it as closed, and it will be added to the closed conversations list. Now, let us see how a new user on your website can have a conversation with you through the Xmarketer Messenger. Whenever a new user comes to your website and opens the Messenger, 
he will be prompted to share his email ID, and name. Once the user enters their information, he is automatically added to your contacts. Now, the user will never have to enter their information again, and will be recognized, whenever he comes back to your website and opens the messenger. This new conversation will be reflected, as unseen, in the conversations section, on your workspace. You can send text messages, voicemail, video mail, or have live conversations with the new user. Let us see, how it works. The icons, on the top right corner of your chat window, can be used to send different types of messages. There is voice mail, video mail, screen recording mail, live audio call and live video call. Now, let me show you, how to send a video mail. Hello Sam, let me know, how, can, how I can help you. And, that is how you can send video mails, and establish instant trust with your potential users, and close more sales. On this page, you can see all your contacts. Every user that has a conversation with you, or raises a ticket, is automatically added to your contacts. You can add more details about your customers as you get to know them better. Users, who come through the messenger, are automatically added to the chats group, and the users who raise a ticket, are automatically added to the users group. You can create your own custom groups, add new users to those groups, add tags to each contact, and in this way, create rich mailing lists. This, is the tickets page. All the tickets raised by your customers from your knowledge base page, can be seen here. A fresh ticket is given a new status, and when you reply to a ticket, you can mark it as open, pending or solved. You can add attachments, videos or audios, to your ticket reply. We also have a feature called Macros, where you can create template messages, and send those ready-made templates to your users, which helps you in saving time while responding to your customer queries. This is your Knowledge Base Setup page. You can directly add FAQs to your Knowledge Base from here. You simply have to enter a question, an answer, and click on Submit button. The FAQ will be automatically added to your Knowledge Base. Let us see what your FAQ looks like on your knowledge base. The FAQ that we just added can be seen here in the FAQs section.